in a previous tutorial, I went over variables. And you can see here we created a number variable, a string variable, and a Boolean variable. And you can see here we set the number variable equal to 1, we set the string variable equal to the string hero, and we set the Boolean variable equal to false. Now in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to talk about operators. Now operators are important tools that we can use to manipulate data and basically we can um, combine the data in variables, we can compare the data in variables, and we can do all kinds of stuff in manipulating um, basically the data using operators. Now there are different types of operators that we're going to learn to use. And right here, if we look at these variables that we created, we used an assignment operator when we used the equal sign, and we took this variable, let's say game level, and then we assigned it the value of 1 by using this assignment operator, the equal sign. There are other types of operators, and we'll go in here and open up this ActionScript library here. You can see these are the books. I've got this file, once again, is an ActionScript 2 file. And, um, or it's a flash file with the ActionScript language set to ActionScript 2. And if I open up the operators book here, we can see the different types of operators put into different groupings. Now, the most simple operators that you're going to identify with right away are the arithmetic operators. And if we open up that book, you can see here we've got the plus sign, the um, forward slash, which is for division, the asterisk for multiplication, and the percentage sign, which is the modulus operator, and also the dash for subtraction. So if we wanted to use that in a situation, we could say, let's say, var my num, right? And I'm just going to keep it sloppy right there. Not, no strict data typing, weak data typing. We know it's going to be a number variable. My num equals, and once again this is an assignment operator right here, but now we could use some arithmetic operators. We could say 5 plus 4, and then trace my num, and you can see that we're going to get a 9, and you can see the 9 up there in the output window right there. Okay, so that's using the arithmetic operator, the plus. And we could say 10 forward slash 2 for 10 divided by 2. And you can see the number 5 up here in the window. And we could do multiplication. And there's 20. And we could do subtraction. 10 minus 2. And you can see there's the number 8. So now the modulus is a little bit different. If we use the modulus operator, I'll show you that. The modulus, so that's 10 modulus 2, and we hit control enter, you can see we get 0. And why is that? Because the modulus operator returns the remainder of a division. So in other words, if we change this and said 10 modulus 3, right, 3 goes into 10 3 times, and then 1 is left over. So then the, the, what the number that's returned would be the remainder, which would be 1. So we'll hit Control Enter, and you can see there's the 1, right? And if we did modulus 4, then the remainder is 2 because 4 goes into 10 2 times, and 2 times 4 is 8, and then um, 2 is left over, and so then that's what it returns. So that's modulus. So, so right off the bat we have the arithmetic operators, right? Plus addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and modulus. And you can see those are used pretty easily right here, right? Now, we've also talked about the assignment operators, and that's going to be, let's look at those next. So now what we'll look at is assignment operators. Now, the assignment operators, if we open this book up, 
you can see are the equal sign, but then there's also these other versions where there's an equal sign involved, except in front of the equal sign there's the subtraction symbol or the percentage sign for the modulus, or um, you can see here the ampersand. So let's see how those are used. Now the curious thing that happens with assignment operators is this. Let's take a look at this example. If I say var my num, that creates the variable my num. And then I can on the next line say my num equals 10. And if I trace it, we can see that up here in the output window, the number 10, we can see that basically this variable now is a stand-in for the number 10. So if we trace it, it says 10. So it would follow that if we did my num plus 5, that that would be, well, if my num is equal to 10, we would have 10 plus 5. And then if we traced my num, we would see the number 15. And it would follow that because, hey, my num is equal to 10. And, 10 plus 5 equals 15, so let's trace my num, and you'll see that when we trace it, it's actually still equal to 10. So the first time we traced it, it was 10, and the second time we traced it, it was 10. So why is that? Well, just because the variable has been assigned the number 10, right, and then we add 5 to it, basically, it does do that operation. It is doing 10 plus 5 but it's not changing the value of the variable my number. So that's a curious um, situation. So if we want to basically add the variable my num plus and add it with 5 and then change the value of the variable, we need to assign it that number as well. So in other words, if we did a plus equal and turned it into assignment operator. So now it not only is doing the addition, but it's also essentially doing the assignment. Now, if we run that, you can see that it is the number 15. Oftentimes in programming, we'll see this concept of assigning the value back into the variable made explicit by writing it out a different way. So we could achieve the same effect if we said, my num, which is now equal to 10, right, equals my num plus 5. So basically, you're doing the operation my num plus 5, which is going to be 10 plus 5, making it equal to 15, and you're assigning it with the equal sign here back into the variable. So you're saying my num equals basically the value of the variable plus 5, and it's doing both the addition and the assignment. But an easier way to do that is to just say my num plus equal 5. And you can do that and do it with, let's say, a subtraction equal, or division equal, or a multiplication equal. And so those are all assignment operators. And basically, it will run the addition and then assign the value back into the variable. So now we've covered both the arithmetic operators and the assignment operators. But before we move on, I want to go down here and I've closed the assignment operators book here and open up the miscellaneous operators book because there's two operators in here that are a bit like the assignment operators. They're listed here as miscellaneous operators, and that is the plus plus and the minus minus. Now, in our games, if we want to increment a variable, like let's say we have var my num, and we've set it to 10, right? And I'll just get rid of this. And we want to increment it because it's, let's say, a variable for the game score or something like that. So we could call it, like, instead of my num, we'll call it score, right? And we want to very quickly just increment the score by 1. So what we could do is we could use score plus plus, and that will increment, basically, the score variable 
by just one. So then we'll trace it. So you see here that we've set the variable score to 10, trace it, so we should get a 10 in the output window, and then score plus plus should uh, increment the score variable by one. So essentially it is like an assignment operator in that it adds one and then assigns it back into the variable score. And if we hit control enter you can see that you can see our first output was 10 and our second output is 11. And it works the same way for minus minus but just subtracts one and then assigns that value to the variable. So if we hit control enter you can see now it's equal to 9. Now we'll be using that in our games too because it's very handy and it's very quick to just use the plus plus or the minus minus.